Hey ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tank Starcraft here with a ZVT analysis video. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at the aggressive muta style of ZVT. A very, very early muta timing off of two bases. Uh, similar to those timings that you would see in Heart of the Swarm. Little revamps though for Legacy of the Void timings. And uh, essentially we're going to be building those mutas as early as about 5.30 and then transitioning right into a very heavy ground army with lings and banelings. So it's a style that's nice and safe early, those mutas very effective at repelling all kinds of Terran aggression. And uh, also lets you be quite aggressive in the mid game. Give me one sec here, I'm going to turn this volume down just a bit. That should be better. Uh, okay, so just this opening here, we're going to open very standard, right into the hatchery on 17, and then the pool, and then the gas. So contrary to what you might think, it's not the earliest gas possible, we'll actually get in the pool just before the gas. Um, I believe it's 17 hatch, 18 pool, 17 gas. And then you'll drone to 19 and build that overlord. So right here at 19 we wait because we want to be able to build these lings right away. If a reaper were coming, which actually it is, uh, it's very nice to be able to build two to four sets of lings, or sorry, two to four lings total uh, right away. Four to six lings is really what I meant to say. You want four to six zerglings early on. There we go. And the two queens, then we're back into the drones. Zergling speed with the first hundred gas, actually a bit late here. Looks like I'm building an overlord just a little before it should have been built, but no real no real damage done. Uh, oh, this is why you want to have your lings in the proper position. Don't want to lose any drones to this, and I don't think we have yet. Nope, good. And then, of course, when the queens are out, we're in great shape to repel that permanently. Now we got the third queen coming at the natural right away, but we're not going to build another queen in the main. Reason being, we're going to be getting the lair very early with our second hundred gas. So this is where this build starts to really deviate from standard macro play. Essentially, you could do the build up until this point exactly this way and transition into macro, do a roach ling timing, whatever the heck you want. But uh, here's the big major deviation, and that's the lair at three minutes. Boom. This is about the time, too, that we're going to want to be adding additional gas, uh, probably one in the main soon. I like to time this so that my first inject, those three drones, can be rallied right into this gas. Otherwise, we're just building an Overlord and lots of drones. Now, he's being very aggressive, actually, at the front. More aggressive than most. Uh, three Reapers, and is that a fourth coming? Yeah, a fourth Reaper coming. But honestly, even against this, I feel fairly safe. I already have six Lings. Uh, two Queens are out. A third's about to come out, so that's going to defend my natural a bit. And, of course, speed's going to be finishing pretty soon. I can always, always build, you know, six, seven. Well, I guess I can't build seven, but uh, six or eight more Lings. So I'm still actually just having some drone here. I'm feeling confident. Maybe I didn't... Oh, I got a Reaper kill. Now I'm feeling really confident. Uh, what I actually should have done there is injected with this queen and maybe even saved energy with this one so that I could transfuse this queen. But uh, more importantly, you can see I got this gas. It's about to be started. And once I start this gas, I'll rally three drones into it. So that'll give me two gas. And eventually I'll even add these ones. So it'll be all four gases on layer tech before even a third base. Ah, careful. This is actually pretty good. I don't I think I lost one link so far. And oh no! Loses two Reapers. That's not what you want. Wow, he's okay, he's got another That this actually would have been very scary if um if he hadn't have lost those two Reapers. I, th I think it was a little bit of a mis misplay by him. And if he had six Reapers here, this this could be dangerous. He could theoretically maybe kill these Queens. But I am, I would say, doing the correct thing, which is building ten more Lings here. I mean, I would love those to be drones, but just just kind of have to get them out with the speed, and that'll let me repel this. And, and then once I'm there, I can drone to full two-base saturation very quickly. Okay, so he's going to come in here again. Lings should be popping. Speed will be done soon. And I don't even think I'll lose a Queen. Yeah. This is so unfortunate! If the speed had been just a little bit earlier, I could have probably killed all these. But now I'm just in this awkward spot of getting bombed. Ugh. Should have kept chasing there, I think. Maybe would have got a Reaper. Either way, I'm safe now with speed, so I can drone. Drone, drone, come on, drone. There we go, big drones. And we should see double gas. Spine at the front. Maybe a little late, but that's okay. Because he's gone Reapers. Where's my, uh... Where's my tech? 
But there's the two gas, and I should be seeing that spire very soon. So this is a little delayed, and my drone count's a little lower than it would be if I hadn't been pressured early, and oh no. Whew, gotta love those zerglings coming in at the nick of time. So this is fine. I mean, it, it, it's a little suboptimal, but uh, I wouldn't say I'm behind by any means. I mean, he, I, I just realized this. He hasn't even taken his expansion. He's, he's gone three CC behind it. But just putting on that early pressure that he did has put him behind uh, where he wants to be for sure. I didn't realize that during the game. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to saturate this expansion completely, maybe even oversaturate it a little, little, and then essentially just bank up gas to, uh, to make a, a bunch of mutas as early as possible. These reapers are still being annoying. I hate ridges like this, man. I just, I wish I had those lings that could jump down there and kill them like in the campaign. That would make me so happy. I mean, in theory, if I had an overlord, maybe I could do something like that, but uh, that's that's something for another day. So here we go, beautiful. Let's look at the income right now. Oh, this is what you wanna see. It, exactly 44 is full two base saturation with all the gas. So just a little bit more. This will let me do things like take my third base and evo chambers without going under saturation at my expansion. So, so as a general tip for players, I usually recommend, you know, get the exactly 16 in the main early on because you have time. But later, when you don't have time to be micromanaging all your drones, uh, just get a couple extra for your expansion so that you never really go under 16 there. It makes a huge difference. If you're sitting at 14 drones at a base for a long period of time, or if you forget it because things are busy, that really adds up and you, you can't be making that kind of mistake. Okay, good. Good job of repelling all that aggression. We should be seeing the mutas started by, like, what, 520? 530? Oh, he does delay my third a little bit, but honestly, the third isn't a huge deal. Like, I'm not worried at this stage in the game to have delayed this this long. He does get the nice scan, and I think, yeah, he's going to get the engineering bay. I had a little mistake there. I should have built all the mutas right away, but there we go. All eight mutas. Now, with the eight mutas building, that's it. I'm not building more mutas unless I really have to for some reason. Um, what I'm really doing here is building these mutas to be as aggressive early as possible while I essentially drone to three base saturation and then kill him with a ground army. That's the real goal, is actually to kill him with plus one plus one Ling Baneling, which you can see is in, uh, in the works here. So these mutas are as much a fake as, uh, as anything else. I, I want him to overreact, I want him to think I'm building a ton of mutas so that when I hit him with a three base ground army, he's not expecting it. I mean, a lot of players too, they'll see this muta push, right? Or they'll see these mutas come in, they'll defend against it, they'll stabilize, and they'll try to go for a big push, and they won't be expecting you to have quite such a big ground army. And you can just win the game right there. And that's what I like to do, is win the game right there. Okay, so the mutas are gonna go in. Uh, this is great, this is oh, so close, eh? if, the, if these towers, turrets were up suddenly it's a little bit more difficult to do damage but I get there right in time to kill that and the real goal is to disrupt him right keep him busy to delay his mining kill some workers like a little bit of economic damage but uh, mostly it's also I want to keep these marines back at his base I want him not to be attacking me at the front because I don't have bane speed yet I don't have a ground army really to speak of I want to saturate my third safely using these mutas and then it's going to be all unit production. I mean, I even got that macro hatch coming. So in about two minutes, I'm going to have so much ground forces. But until then, these mutas really got to keep me alive. And uh, keep the pressure on. So there, that's plenty of damage. Like, I'm not, I'm not worried about poking too much more. I'm already into limb production. And let's actually look at the income. Are we where we want to be? I would say so. Uh, about 60 is perfect. Uh, I'm not even going to take additional gas. Like, I'm going to do essentially a four gas, three base follow-up. Uh, but I could, like if I wanted 2-2 two, two and Hive and stuff like that, I could take these earlier. But uh, to be really aggressive, we're not even gonna touch them. We don't even need those gas. Mutas still poking around. I'm definitely gonna fly back in. I'm not done with them, but I, I wanna make sure I don't lose them. I wanna let them regenerate a bit of health. Looking at this, I, I wish I went in and just poked here. Probably could've got that SCV. Ooh, ooh. Mm, no, nope, decided. No good. Saw that one. No good. But all overlords, all lings, banelings. So here, 
I guess between the time the mutas come out, which is like, say, like six minutes, and about here, seven minutes, you're a little afraid of an attack because all you really have is eight mutas and speedlings, and you're not really going to have a lot of banelings for a while because you just use all your gas. But it's a really short window that you're vulnerable for, I think. And now that I'm into ling and baneling production with essentially four hatcheries, there's there's nothing Terran can do. There's no way in hell off of these three barracks and one factory he's ever going to produce enough units to kill me in the mid game. So if I wanted to play a defensive style, I could just build enough units here and take a fourth and take additional gases and upgrades and hive and all that stuff. Uh, there's a lot of options at this stage in the game right here because I've saturated a nice three base early. So what I'm doing, as you can see, is just powering the production. I want to keep my money and minerals low. <laughs> money and minerals. Mineral, I guess money and gas. Minerals and gas. Low. I am going to take this additional hatchery. My main will mine out, which is why I'm taking it. So I can transfer some over there. But yeah, big ling production. And you can see, I really don't need additional gas. Like, I already have a ton of banelings. I have all the upgrades that I need for a big attack. Um, I really don't need to be taking additional gas. Yet. So this is the timing that we're trying to hit, is about 8 minutes. All these upgrades are timing out nicely. We got a really, really nice production off of these four hatcheries. And uh, we're, we're, we're going to try to win the game here. And Ideally, Terran will be right here in the middle of the map trying to push us right when we want him to, at about 8 minutes. Uh, hopefully he won't be back here all defended and bunkered up, but sometimes they are. As, as you can see, really, like, if I had gone for more gas, I think I would have been starved and I wouldn't have been able to build as many lings. So four gas, definitely what you want to do for a while. And uh, yeah, then we aim, move, and hope we win. And, and oh, he really should be sieged up here. I don't think he's expecting it. And it's largely an aim, move situation. And GG. So that is essentially the aggressive Ling Bane Ling Muta style. Very effective, uh, especially on maps where it's close air distance and you can get there early with those mutas. Sometimes you can just straight up win the game with the eight mutas. Uh, but it just seems really safe right now. A lot of Terran players are going for early aggression and having the speedlings early with the quick mutas just lets you throw it in their face. Like there's no way they're gonna drop you. There's no way they're gonna liberate or pressure you really. Banshees are shut down completely. Like you're always, always, always gonna get your third base behind those mutas very safely um and yeah i, I like personally like to hit the the one one timing here but just imagine if if this hadn't done game ending damage and i just killed some stuff here and you know maybe reset his army count and but been forced back i have a great economy behind this i can easily take additional gas get two two get my worker count up to the 70 80 count that we want as zerg which is really what like 20 more drones uh, take even more gas, like up to a total of eight, and I can move to Hive, Ultralisk, for, keep that air supremacy with Mutas and with Corruptors, and just win in the late game with Ultralisks and a nice big ground army. Uh, so there's lots of options and, and uh, utility and ways to play this out differently. And I definitely recommend that you try out the opening build because it's very optimized and very effective. So good luck, guys. Talk to you later.